In just about 12 hours, more than 150 of the world's greatest cyclists will take part in the second annual USA Pro Challenge. The bike race through Colorado is one of the largest in the country. The first leg of the race kicks off at 10 o'clock in the morning. Cyclists will begin in Durango. They'll ride 125 miles to Telluride. We have a team of reporters covering the challenge for us all week long. Susie Wardgen, Greg Moss, and 9 News reporter Kevin Torres. Kevin is live in Durango tonight. Kevin, I bet everybody's excited there. Oh, they sure are, and you guys just missed the most spectacular fireworks show in downtown Durango. It was a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, tomorrow morning, the fun starts here at the start line. More than two dozen countries are participating in this with cyclists from all over the world. The pros came out this morning, a few of them did, to participate in what's considered a residence race, where they allowed town folk from Durango and nearby communities to join in and just race around the city of Durango. They did that for about two hours or so, and I'm told that it was about 60 to 70 miles. And I can assure you that most of those cyclists who are going to be out tomorrow morning are in bed right now, knowing all too well that they'll have to be here bright and early. There is something unique about this start line, and it has to do with the fact that it'll be following the cyclists all throughout the seven, seven stages over the next seven days. It has a unique history of its own, starting all the way back in Denver. The, Den the Denver Business Park. Along one of those busy back roads in East Denver. I think it's pretty well energized. Is an area where brown box buildings. We've got 54,000 square feet on this facility. Balance each other out. How long have we known each other? <laughs> For years now, the folks over at EPS Doublet have worked this corner at Joliet. Tommy. Creating all sorts of crazy. Can you suck this together here? Cool you things. Want another one? Uh, I like it, Mark. Things like decor for the USA Pro Challenge. So it's everything from the start finish, the wayfinding, the barricades, the crowd control, the wayfinding, pr pretty much the whole graphics package for the event. When we caught up with them, they were putting the finishing touches on the start line. So that's okay, we'll just do a black. A fine contrast compared to last year's design. You're just gonna see a lot of refinements to something that really worked well last year. It all starts inside with the sewing, the sparking, and the special flair put into each piece. And we produce everything in-house. In-house and outside. Couldn't tell you how many man hours, but it's a lot. 60 workers made this possible over a month's time. They're used to it, though, having done up other big events like the London Olympics. We have an office in France that was. We were able to make all the international flags for London. Pretty fancy. <laughs> and who would have thought it was all built right in our own backyard? We love to do work at home, and we love this event. We love cycling. The employees who helped build that plan on coming out to at least the last two stages as it gets closer to the front range, they'll be joining in with more than a million spectators who are expected to come out during the seven day process. Now, man, Cheryl, I want to show you guys something and I don't want you to get jealous because while you guys were stuck in the newsroom today, I want to give you a view from my office. And this is exactly what these cyclists will be seeing tomorrow morning. This is stage one of this entire thing and they will be going from Durango all the way up to Telluride going through Dolores and this was taken about 10 miles south of Telluride an absolutely stunning sight. We're going to have a lot of coverage for you on the networks of Nine News starting tomorrow morning at 4:30 a.m. Greg Moss and Susie Wardgen will be here for live coverage during the morning shows and then at 4, 5 and 6 and I'll join you guys again later on at 9 News at 9 and 9 News at 10. They're sleeping right now. Photojournalist Tom Cole and I are about to catch some Z's. <laughs> there you go. And you give us a look at your office and we understand why there's a million spectators who are knocking on your office door there. It's beautiful. Oh, I know, I know. There's a lot of people out here. They're having a lot of excitement, so. Yeah, we see them having fun. All right, Kevin, we're looking forward to the week for all of you. Thanks a lot.